craziest couples ever. She'll clearly understand that you're correct and draw you a pretty picture. Write that down. What is going on guys, Shaq Reacts here once again, and in this video we are going to check some wall clips of the worst couples I can find. The like of my favorite clip will be at the end guys, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till the end to find it. But in this first one, it is definitely not good either. Basically we have this woman over here, this guy ends up I guess just divorcing his wife in front of everyone, and you can definitely tell he doesn't have any love for her anymore. So I'm gonna ask you directly. Yeah. Do you want a divorce? I do want a divorce. I do so want you want to be done? Yeah. I don't care if she sent me back to my account, I just want a peace of mind. I just want a peace of mind. She's not giving me the peace of mind. I'm doing, I'm doing everything for her. You know, I'm not getting that appreciation. You know when somebody do something for you, you give appreciation. That person will want to do more. So you're hearing this directly. He's saying he wants a divorce. Are you processing yeah. it? Are you receiving that? I'm processing. Yeah. So that is it told her what I want. And this next one is absolutely heartbreaking. We have this woman over here on a podcast. She is actually explaining a story about how her best friend and her boyfriend were thinking about getting married. However, the best friend has been cheating on the boyfriend for quite some time. In my opinion, I don't care if that's my best friend. I would definitely tell the boyfriend about what she's doing. I have a good friend. She's been dating her boyfriend for probably six years, six plus years now. Long time. Yeah. And she's been cheating on him for four. Huh? She belongs to the streets. Oh, wow. And I was with both of them the other night. We were drinking and he let it slip to me that he was saving up to buy a ring because he wanted to propose soon. Mm. So now I'm in this really awkward position. I'm closer to her as a friend. Sure. But I feel horrible for him. And this next one, I feel like this couple is now ruined forever. Basically, the boyfriend decides to let out a little secret. And I'm like, you probably should have just kept this hidden the entire time. One thing you've never told your boyfriend. Oh God, I don't know. One thing I haven't told my boyfriend. I don't know. I don't know. Ask him something he's never told. Okay, what's one thing you've never told your girlfriend? I think I talked to your best friend before I talked to you. That's terrible. <laughs> That's terrible. I know I knew that, by the way. I knew that. <laughs> Trouble in paradise. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Thank you. And this next one, I don't understand this woman's logic. Basically, she is unfulfilled by her job, which is OnlyFans. And for some odd reason, she still doesn't want to stop, even though she hates it so much. No way money is that important to you. Post my naked body online. To like, put it fully shortly. naked? Yes. Are so you much. fulfilled doing this? Absolutely not. No, it has made me, like, extremely depressed. Well, emotional damn it how much longer do you want to do this for i would love to stop now in this next one this pretty much just proves that women don't know how to choose men anymore if they really think this is perfectly fine you guys i just found out that he wasn't ghosting he was just on trial for first degree murder. and like he was guilty but he had a really hard childhood so like i don't know let's see where it goes <laughs> stop it Get some help. In this section, we have this older woman over here. I guess she is trying to explain to other older women that it's perfectly fine to be single and alone at a higher age, like 37 or 40. In my opinion, this should not be advice you should be giving on TikTok because the majority of people do not want to be in your situation. And I feel like at this point, she's just trying to cope. That I do when family members just ask me if I'm single or what I'm doing in my life. Like, oh my God, you're 37. Like, aren't you worried? I just say... Oh my God, I'm dating a lot of people. I'm having so much fun. And then they get kind of weirded out that you're so happy and excited about it. And then you're like, yeah, and I'm really enjoying work and like things are just going great. Being happy about your life makes it harder for someone to bring you down, at least in- And this is actually, this is definitely an interesting argument. This guy is basically saying, you are no different than a street worker. If you go on a date and the man is paying for you, and I guess you give him a little bit of action at the end of it. I guess he's trying to say that anytime he is compensating in any way for you, even in relationship standards, you are similar to a street worker, which is debatable. For all women no. Come over here and talk about it. We're having a discussion. Are all women Dudes. For their man, yes. How is it for their man? Because if a man gonna out, he gonna out, I'm his Okay, so listen to me, right? What if I'm not your man and I get you on a date? That means that I have to pay, right? Happen. No, no, that means I have to pay, right? Yeah, no, 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 he hear me out, hear me out. If I take you on a date, we're not together. That means I'm not your man yet, right? That means I still have to pay for me to come pick you up, me to pay for the dinner. It's a transaction though, right? I can pay for my own. Food. Are you gonna be, are That's you, not are you, aren't you gonna be, you look up hear me out. Is Hear me out. You didn't say you would me. You say you would take me out to dinner. You pay for my food. I could pay for that my mother self. Listen, woman. Could you please let me talk? Listen to me. Listen to me. Hear me. Hear me out. What you're saying is what you're saying. Damn it. She got a fat. Right there. She do. Yeah, she do got a fat. 
Listen to me. If you're taking me to Applebee's, you cannot take the mic. Hold on. Anywhere like that, cheap. You're not getting anything. Let, hold on. Listen to me. One second. So what I'm saying, you just touched my mic, though. So if I don't pay for the date. Either way it go, you're not getting nothing, period. You're not even hearing me out, girl. And this next moment, we have this woman over here who is also giving advice on TikTok, saying you should never settle. I'm not sure if this is advice you should be giving, once again, because you are going to keep a lot of women more single than not. And if you guys don't understand, statistics are already showing that 60% of women will stay single the rest of their lives. And you're pretty much just increasing these numbers. No. I'm probably going to die alone. In fact, that happens to be one of the number one insults that I hear from men on this app who uh, feel insulted by my content, who feel insulted when I have messages such as, I will not settle. My grandmother is 85 years old. She got married when she was 20. By the time she was 25, she realized she had settled for an abusive man. She thought she was in love with him. She stayed with him. 30 years after that, no, I'm sorry, 40 years after that, I remember I was at her 40th wedding anniversary, she told me if she would have known then what she knew now, she never would have married. And this sex with this guy's purposely trying to ruin his marriage, in my opinion, just please watch. You know the key to a happy marriage is simple communication. So the next time your wife is upset with you, giving you the silent treatment, and you can't quite figure out why, simply grab her some coloring books, set them down next to her, and let her know that she's acting like a child because she can't use her big girl words to tell you what's really going on. She'll clearly understand that you're correct and draw you a pretty picture. Write that down. And this next me of this woman over here was pretty much asking a bunch of women, what do you bring to the table when you're dating or married to your man? Because a lot of women feel like they're just entitled to everything and they don't got to bring anything to the table specifically. And this is honestly a very hard question to bring to women. Ladies, I've got a serious question. When you are dating, or you're just, you've decided to enter into a relationship, what do you bring to the table? Like seriously, I know you're cute. I know you know how to dress. I know you, you look fine and your figure's tight, the waist is snatched, but what are you bringing to the table? Everywhere on social media, I see that men need to be six foot two. They need to be emotionally available. They need to be able to pay for bills. They need to be able to pay for dates. Absolutely. I don't disagree with that. But what do you bring to the table? Are you emotionally available? Are you healed? Can you communicate without it being toxic? Do you earn enough money to pe take your man out on a date? Now, according to the last clip, this is exactly what I mean. We have all these women over here who want men who make so much money. However, they feel like they're just entitled to it. They have no idea what they bring to the table themselves. They're not traditional women like they used to be anymore back in the day. So at this point, why should a man even go for you? How much money should a guy make for a year? I say 100000 Why 100000 Because he has to be able to provide for me and himself along with our family. Okay. What about you? Um, I'm gonna say 120,000. Why, why a specific number? I don't know, I just went higher than her. 500k to keep up with my lifestyle. And you? 2 million. I'd say probably six figures, minimum. Okay, for sure, for sure. How about you? Yeah, definitely six figures. And this next one, this is absolutely hilarious. The guy at the end pretty much gave the best answer. What's an ick in a guy? Um, yeah. when they're not respectful. When they're not funny. Flip-flops or Crocs without socks. When they jump in the pool and they hold their nose. Do you have one for a girl? Uh, if they're like fucking stupid. And this sex why I don't understand this clip at all. Apparently this woman is rejecting marriage because she feels like she's not ready for that lifestyle yet. Are you really surprised that you're gonna have to raise your own kids? Come on now. Now, one of the worst couple of guys with this woman over here, she still doesn't understand why she is single. And apparently she is saying it's because she'll never settle and because a man will never be perfect enough for her. I'm not sure how old she is. She's definitely in her 40s, in my opinion. But no way you would rather be in your situation than a woman with kids and happy who specifically settled, I guess. But leave your comments down below what you guys think. Why am I still single? <laughs> because I have choice. Because I have priorities because I know what I want, because I have built myself to a certain level not to appreciate and accept or rubbish, because I've put in so much in myself to be damaged. Why am I still single? 
I'm still single because I don't want to accept rubbish like you. I'm still single because I don't want to be abused like you. I'm still single because I don't want to be moved by society like you. I'm still single because I don't want to be moved by your projection of she never marry, she never marry. I'm not single because there are no men flocking around me. I'm single because I don't want to end up with everybody. I'm single because I want to take my time. I am single because I'm an intentional woman. I am single because I understand that when I'm alone, I can be more productive than when I'm with an idiot. I'm single because I have put in so much in my self-development and I understand that when I bring an idiot into my life, he is going to damage everything I have taken my time to do. Well, that does do it for the three guys. Thank you for watching. Guys, the next one, take care. Peace.